Oi, oi, what's going on guys? So as you can see, we're gonna be looking at a couple of different tool bag setups. This week in particular, we're gonna be looking at the Tough Tool Bags Lockable Tool Bag. This one is the XXL, and we'll be doing that in the next video, so stay tuned for that. That one also, we'll be looking at the Spanner Roll. So let's delve into the smaller, more compact, very durable, Tough Tool Bags Lockable Tool Bag. So I have been running this bag for roughly two weeks now on a large construction site and it's been really good. I have been enjoying it. It is a different bag compared to all the other bags I've used in the past. So I wasn't sure how I would like it and how it would go on site, but so far it's been really good. So if we look at the outside of the bag first, the dimensions of the outside are 440 long, 240 mil wide, and then 270 mil high. So it's a nice little compact bag. You can see that the zips here, heavy duty, there's two of them, so you can lock them together. On that one, that one, you can lock all four of those together, so you've got one padlock, and then the side pockets are the same. And then if we flip it around, you've even got more pockets on the back, which are also lockable. It is very water resistant, you have got the clips on there on the front, so you close that down and that hides the zips and makes it quite waterproof. If we zip it open, we'll show you the inside. So the internal dimensions are 330 long, then you have 130 mil wide, and the height again is 270 mil. So opening this up, as you can see, plenty of room inside and each wall has spots for all your tools. We'll go into this in depth and I'll show you how I set my bag up. But you've also got this center part, where you put documents in there, you could put anything really. It is a very strong Velcro bit there, so it's nice. So if we look at the pockets, the both the front side and back, they're very generous. You can see you can fit anything in there. You can actually fit a whole drill. I have, um, put the M12 drill in there from Milwaukee. I don't keep it in there, but that's how big it is. You've got the side ones. Quite large, you can put a whole hand in there. Same thing on this side, these are all lockable. And flip it around onto the back. Plenty of space in there for whatever you're looking at. So if we look at the strap, you can see it's all padded and it is quite comfy in the tool bag when it's loaded up. It is still quite comfortable, and you know that I always load up mine with a fair bit of weight. So if we look at the shoulder strap, it's actually stitched in. It's double stitched, the same as everywhere else that you need it. You can see all the way around there, it's all double stitched, all down here. It's meant to be a very durable bag, and I have seen a video of these being held up with a motorbike um, under it. I'll show you that video. But yeah, it's meant for all your um, big construction, especially mine sites, where you need a very durable bag that'll keep the dust and water out. So this bag actually weighs less than 1.6 kilos, which is fantastic for a lot of you guys that are chasing that lighter tool bag. If you're filling up with your tools, you don't wanna start off with three to four kilos worth of bag. So this is perfect for those guys that are chasing that lighter bag. But let's delve into how I have set mine up and what it looks like. So there you go guys, as you can see she's pretty full, but it holds together very nicely. I even had to do a kilometer walk up a hill the other day, and it wasn't too bad at all. The shoulder strap, as you can see, has padding in it, and it was quite comfortable, and the bag held everything together nicely. Uh, you can see on the side there, I have thrown a strap on. All my bits, I've thrown on my magnet, tape, and a data stripper. And I guess we may as well start on the front pocket. I'm still trying to figure out how to organize this, guys. You know I sort of reorganize it all the time. Um, so, got a uni light in there, inspection light. I've got my Knipex stripper. My very large Klein Tools tape measure. As you can see, these pockets are very big. So, I've got a M12 battery, just an access panel key. Stabler level and some, um, these are just security bits. 
they're always handy to have around. But you could fit a lot more in there still uh, around this side. I've played around with this side a little bit. I've had bits and pieces, but at the moment, as you can see, I've just got hole saws. Get that strap out of the way. Just got hole saws and a couple of arbors. Nothing too special, but these pockets are very durable. So you can put your hole saws in there. You're not gonna have any worries. Actually, while we're here, you can see in the side there, that's the strap. It goes all the way down and you've got heaps of extra stitching there so that the strap's not gonna come off. You can be assured in that, flip it around, nothing special on this side. You can put your meters in here, something like a um, Fluke 117 will fit in there nicely, but at the moment I've just got my brother labeler. Flip it around to the back. I wasn't really sure how to utilize this pocket, but my fish tape fits in there perfectly. I've really liked it have being in there. It won't fall out, nice and secure. Um, that's obviously not for everyone, but whether you put your pens in there, any paperwork, that sort of stuff, that is the side that'll be rubbing on your leg or your side while you're carrying it. So you don't want anything too bulky. And if we open her up, you can see we are jam packed full. Once again, you all know how I roll. On the top here, I've got my pens. I've got, um, this is all the tracer gear. So different colored Nikos. I've got a pencil and a pen in there. Fits nicely in there. I don't know if I really showed you this before actually. So that is Velcro. So you can grab your stuff, whatever you need. That's how I'm running with that at the moment. Hit me up in the comments how you would set this bag up. Would you, what, what do you guys normally put in these pockets? Quite a few bags are out there that are like that. I'd love to get some ideas, but we'll go through this. You can see it's got pretty much everything you need in there. And it's very compact. It's all in there, but still very easily accessible, which is what I really like. So you can see I've got my needle nose. Just got my Allen keys there. Got my Weira Allen keys and my Boxo ones. Imperial and metric and then down this side Just some tin snips And we'll get a closer look of some of these pockets. How about we get some of the bulkier tools out? I have got my t6 1000 that fits in there nicely. It's not in a pocket, but it just sits down the, the bottom there But as you can see, can you see those pockets just in there? They fit in there nicely. That's actually sort of sitting out. There we go. That's a bit better But they all fit in there nicely then down this side, it's a large pocket here. So I actually threw all my screwdrivers. I've got my new 15 and one from Klein. I've only just got this, used it today, but it's been really good. I've still got my 14 and one there. I'll probably get rid of that, but they all do fit in that pocket. A couple of weirers. So you can see there, that's a large pocket. Fits it all nicely. And then I got these little pockets here. As you can see, they fit those little Pico finish. I love little pockets like that. They keep them nice and organized. Fits in there very nicely. And then I've just got my right angle bit. That fits in one of the pockets and a 250, or is that a 200? 250 extension bit in there. So that's it for that side. And then you've got this side here. As you can see, I've got my M12 Milwaukee drill. What else we got? I've got my Jiprock saw in there. Plaster saw, my RCD tester. So you can see down there, there's quite a bit of room. Got my Knipex side cutters, Knipex wrench, my Klein tools, pliers. Yeah, I've got to watch where you put your pliers because these won't fit in a couple of the other pockets down like on this side here. So if you're just running normal pliers like that with the uh, nibs, without the nibs, they're fine for down there. But these ones will go over there. And then just some conduit cutters. You can see they're fairly large and they fit in there nicely. They're actually quite snug, which I like. And then we just got some multi-grips in there. Just some Irwins. Some parrot beaks. Whatever you guys call them, everyone calls them something different. And a level. So that's pretty much the setup of the bag at the moment. So as you can see, if you can see that, that's basically how it sits. 
nicely. It is adjustable. You've got the adjustment there. But that's pretty much how I roll. Throw it over the other shoulder, however you to go. But with the with the flat size, but with that flat side there, it's been really good. Not all bags are like that. A lot of the ones I have have pockets on both sides, so that's really good. And it is quite comfortable, which is great. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the style of bag that you're using, what you prefer what your thoughts are on this bag so far. I do know this sort of bag is utilized in the mines quite a lot. I've got quite a few apprentices, maybe three, four, actually I think it might be on my six apprentices at the moment that are using this style of bag. So they are very prevalent here in Australia. I'm not sure about overseas. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. But tough tool bags are 100% Australian owned. They have a two year warranty and a money back guarantee. I will be running this tool bag most likely for the rest of the job uh, that I'm on at the moment. I wanna see how it goes in the long term on a large construction site. So I'm definitely keen to see how it goes, but if you guys are after any more information on these bags, feel free to hit me up anytime or go over to toughtoolbags.com. There's a heap of information on there. There's a big variety of bags. There's always sales. And if you buy a few bags in one, there are discounts, which is fantastic. So, let me know what you think guys, but until next time, stay addicted to the tools.